back. It's not every day that you get to see a famous actress roaming downtown Livingston, let alone get to spend an entire day with them. MTN's Jolie Sali visited some small business owners who got to rub shoulders with a star and were even featured on her TV show that averages about 1.2 million viewers per episode. The famous actress and talk show host Drew Barrymore has shared the screen with people like Adam Sandler, Jimmy Fallon, and much more. But a few days ago, she shared the screen with a few small business owners right here in Livingston. She's one of those people that you meet and it's like you were long lost friends. This was them. My daughters and myself have watched a number of her movies, uh, obviously E.T. On February 15th, Drew Barrymore and Ross Matthews were seen walking the sidewalks of downtown Livingston, stopping in on local businesses for the Drew Barrymore show that averages about 1.2 million viewers per episode. Their first stop, Dan Bailey's Outdoor Company. We did not know Drew Barrymore was coming to our store, no. Dale Sexton, the co-owner of Dan Bailey, said they only thought a production crew was coming to do a segment spotlighting Livingston and some of the people there, but... In walked Drew and Ross, and like I said, surprise doesn't quite capture it. We were blown away. Barrymore did some shopping while she was at Dan Bailey's, according to Rob Laren, the general manager. He was trying on all sorts of jackets, and uh, we have a jewelry case over there with some bolo ties, and they ended up buying some things Aww. and supporting us. In true Montana fashion, Sexton and Laren put Ross in a pair of waders and even taught the pair how to tie a fly to a fly fishing rod. We, we feel honored to have, have hosted them. And the mother-daughter duo who own Firefly Pottery and Art Studio feel the same way after their surprise visit from the star. She cried a little bit. I was shocked. Angie Johnson and her daughter Alex Pinson got to sit down and paint with Drew and Ross, talking about their struggle as small business owners through the pandemic and more. You are a total inspiration. Both Dan Bailey's and Firefly Pottery and Art Studio received $10,000 courtesy of Barry Moore and her show. To have our business out there like that, that was good enough for us, yeah. but that was a whole other thing. And Sexton says he was just as moved. I was like, wow, holy smoke, That's we're going to give that back to the community in some capacity. In Livingston, Jolie Salee, MTN News. Well, after being displaced for a week due to a flood, University of Montana students were allowed to return to Aber Hall on Friday at 10 a.m. Many Aber residents were staying at local hotels and were told to check out by noon. Students had their uh, arms, backpacks, duffels, and even uh, moving uh, bins stuffed with their belongings. MTN's Emily Brown chatted with students as they took multiple trips into the building and told us that most had been up to their dorms and were residents of the eighth floor. One student shared that their room on the eighth floor was fine, but they had heard rooms on the ninth floor were worse off. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be in the 30s for a lot of us, but colder temperatures are in the forecast for Sunday and Monday, and I'll let you know just how cold it's going to be after the break. My advice to all the fathers out there, they grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. Hi, we're TDS. We're here to shake things up a bit. See, we specialize in technology that connects people and grows business. Like intelligently designed phone systems, cloud-based TV, and powerful fiber internet that delivers speed and reliability beyond compare. Our competition doesn't like us much, but our customers do. You don't stay in business for over 50 years without knowing what keeps people happy. So if you're ready for a new choice, say hello to TDS. We're here for you. Be label conscious and experience firsthand the quality and beauty of unique products made by Montana artists, designers, and manufacturers. The Made in Montana Public Showcase is bigger and better than ever, featuring food and beverages, home decor, jewelry, apparel, fine art, and more. More than 113 vendors will be showcasing their fine goods with 20 new vendors to discover. Be label conscious and find authentic Montana products made by authentic Montanans at the Made in Montana Public Showcase, Saturday, March 11th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Lewis and Clark County Fairgrounds. Experiencing the love of a family is a child's greatest pleasure. MTN's Awaiting Child Adoption Series unites foster children with forever families. On the second Sunday of each month, we'll feature a Montana child awaiting adoption. Foster children simply want the love and security of a permanent home. Don't miss these heartwarming stories. And maybe you can help make a child's dream come true. Watch Awaiting Child during the MTN 10 o'clock news. Sponsored by Wendy's and First Interstate Bank. 
local sports connect our state. From the bonds that bind teammates to the rivalries that run deep, MontanaSports.com captures it all in one place. Highlights of your hometown teams, plus the stories behind the action, all in one website. Or download our app and take it with you. MontanaSports.com, powered by MTN Sports. Newsy is now Scripps News. And now, an investigation you'll only see here on Scripps News. Shining a light on local, national, and worldwide news. I'm Jason Bellini in Ukraine, reporting for Scripps News. And still available free to everyone, everywhere. Real stories and the issues you might want to hear. Because understanding the story is what really matters. Newsy is now Scripps News. Go to ScrippsNews.com now to find out more. You're watching KXLH, Montana's news leader. Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. On the Opportunity Bank ICANN, we did have partly cloudy skies during the day today. It was also cooler today than it was yesterday. High temperature this afternoon of 37 degrees, which is a little bit below average for this time of year, and a low temperature of 24 degrees this morning. Right now, temperatures are in the teens and the 20s in most locations, so it is chilly outside. And throughout the day today, we did have gusty winds around, but that wind has been diminishing over the past few hours. And right now, there's just a little breeze around with sustained wind speeds currently between 5 and 15 miles per hour. There are also a few scattered snow and grapple showers around throughout the day today. And there's still a couple isolated snow showers around right now, but most locations are currently dry. And that will be the case as we go through tonight. We're also going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies tonight. For tomorrow, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day will be dry during the morning and a lot of us will continue to be dry during the afternoon and the evening. But as we get into the later part of tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, that's when a few snow showers are going to be possible around the Helena area, especially in the higher elevations. And then as we head into tomorrow night, that's when snow is going to start to become more widespread as the storm system begins to work its way through our area. And it is going to be a snowy day on Sunday as we are going to have areas of light to moderate snow around throughout the day. The snow will taper off a little bit as we head into Sunday night, but there will continue to be some scattered areas of snow around Sunday night and during the day on Monday. Now, in terms of how much snow accumulation you can expect to receive, this is not going to be a major system, but it's still going to be enough snowfall that slippery roads are expected, which means travel conditions will be impacted. In the lower elevations, a coating to five inches of snow accumulation is expected in most spots, and then in the higher elevations, about three to ten inches of snow accumulation is expected. So again, not a major snow event, but there will still be some snow accumulation around. As we go through tonight, there will be a little bit of a breeze around as well, but that wind is going to continue to diminish. And then for tomorrow and most of tomorrow night, there may be a little bit of a breeze around in spots, but the wind's really not going to be a huge issue. However, as we head into Sunday to go along with that snow, we're also going to be dealing with breezy conditions. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times, and this wind is going to be coming out of the north. And this means that blowing and drifting snow is going to be an issue during the day on Sunday. Sunday, so just another thing to be aware of if you are going to be traveling anywhere. Tonight it is going to be a cold night. Single digits and teens for your lows. Low 14 in Helena, 10 in Jefferson City, and 6 degrees in Lincoln. And then for tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the 30s in most locations. So it is going to be a cool day. Heading into Sunday and Monday, it is going to be colder. High temperatures in the 20s. Snow is likely on Sunday. We'll have a chance to see some more snow on Monday. Expecting about one to three inches of snow accumulation in Helena. Heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, isolated snow showers around in the mountains. In the Helena Valley, we should be mostly dry, though. And it will be chilly. High temperatures right around the freezing mark. In Great Falls, very nice weather tomorrow, but then it is going to be colder and breezy on Sunday with snow likely throughout the day. We'll have some lingering snow around on Monday and it will continue to be cold. And then for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, a few snow showers are possible here and there, but not expecting much snow. However, it will be chilly with highs in the 30s. Still to come, more Western AA basketball action tonight. Both the Bruins and Bengals boys take the court in hopes of making it to the championship game on Saturday. MTN's Carter Culver has highlights after the break. The Helena ICAM is sponsored by Opportunity Bank. 
Join the Knights of Columbus this Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. for a Lenten fish fry. Everyone is invited to the Knights of Columbus Hall for a delicious meal for just $15. And don't forget to bring a non-perishable food item for Helena Food Share. The Lenten fish fry this Friday at the Knights of Columbus Hall. This place looks like a museum. Had sex with a bank vault. They got paid 100 k to steal an old gun. We've been set up! With no Batman, who's going to solve the murder of Bruce Wayne? Gotham Knights. New series premieres Tuesday, March 14th. Only on The CW. Olympics. We got uh, medals and ribbons. Woo! Wow. <laughs> this bet. Help support Special Olympics Montana champions by purchasing a $5 raffle ticket from any Special Olympics Montana athlete or from some of these sponsor locations. You could win a 2023 Chevy Silverado or any one of these great prizes. Special Olympics Montana, empowering champions. In Montana, we treasure our public lands and outdoor traditions. Currently, millions of public land acres are inaccessible. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks offers landowner programs that seek willing landowners to open or improve access to these public lands. These programs respect landowners' rights while connecting all Montanans to the outdoors. To learn more, visit fwp.mt.gov backslash landowner.